Why are Kim K and Leonardo DiCaprio being questioned by the FBI about their relationship and connection to this round Asian man? Wow, we are talking about the story of J Ho Lo right now. This is going viral in the Western world. It's been going viral in Asia for several years now. Andrew, long story short, this fat guy, J Ho Lo, got in charge of the 1MDB fund in Malaysia. It was worth 5 billion USD. And instead of, you know, deploying that money to help alleviate poverty and stimulate the economy of Malaysia, Andrew, he took it and spent it to become cool in Hollywood, oh. just gifting people $10 million, giving them oh. paintings. Uh, he's made the whole movie Wolf of Wall Street. And basically, Andrew, now he's on run from Interpol International Police, and he probably will be on the run for the rest of his life if he doesn't go to jail for, in Malaysia for a very long time. But it's going viral right now because the Malaysian government is trying to get some of its money back and the FBI is helping them do it. Yeah, so the FBI right now in America is shaking down some celebrities who were gifted stuff from J-Ho, obviously because that money originally comes from Malaysia and belongs to Malaysia, so you're, they're taking those assets back. Even people like Kim K, Leo, they're being asked to put money back. Right. The producers of Wolf, and Wa Wolf of Wall Street who made money off of that movie, who was funded by J-Ho, uh, has to give money back. So it's good. I think what the FBI is, is doing is right. Right, and it's because he funneled the money from Malaysia through the American banking system. Andrew, some of the American authorities, they do feel somewhat responsible yeah. for this whole thing. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, guys. We're about to break it down from what we know. Andrew, this guy one time paid Emily Ratajkowski $25,000 just to go to the Super Bowl with him. <sighs> Andrew, he paid for Paris Hilton's $7 million birthday party. Um, he paid- Paris, well, Hilton, she's washed. One time partying with his friends over eight months, he spent $85 million. Oh, man. And they used to call him the panda. Dude, it, I can just imagine right now, he's like, hey, is J-O, yeah, at your service. Like, when you want the party, Paris Hilton, you want $7 million. You want the Picasso, I got you, I got you, yeah. Like, no problem. You know, and like, that's a kind of like, aside from obviously the crime that he did, which he should get punished to the maximum, in my opinion, because obviously Malaysia really needed that money. And now that not only ruined and took away that those billions of dollars from the Malaysian government that was going to be used to help the country out, it also just showed the rest of the world and scared a lot of other potential investors from investing in Malaysia right. in the future. It ruined the confidence. Bro, it's bad. It's bad. It's not good, So man. we got to get into some of the comments real quick, and then we'll get into some larger takeaways. Andrew, somebody said, dude, of course they were only just hanging out with him for the money. Look at this guy. He's a short, fat, chubby, <sighs> stupid-looking Asian guy, and uh, why would the world celebrities or American celebrities want to hang out with him if he wasn't, like, paying for everything, paying for all the yeah. jets, paying for all the parties, <laughs> buying $100,000 bottles at the club on a whim? Okay, so... Two parts to this. I feel two different ways. First of all, I agree with the comments. I'm like, no, this guy really did not contribute that much except put a bunch of money and funded some movies. But really, otherwise, he's not producing movies. He's not really directing movies. He's not adding any creative, you know, uh, input, right? So he's not really part of their world. However, but I will also say you're putting celebrities on a pedestal. If you're saying, why would this and that person want to hang out with this guy? Because I do think these comments are racially motivated. Looking at him being like a round Asian dude and seeing automatically, oh, a round Asian guy has no other value than the money. Now, it's probably true, by the way, but I'm just saying. Right. It is true by the ranking of Western society, but I also hate that ranking, but it is what yeah, it is. I just hate that people are some just saying, oh, well, he's an Asian guy. Guy. Why would you ever want an Asian guy around? Right. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hey, maybe he's nice and fun to party with, but also a criminal. Somebody said, yeah, that Victoria's Secret model, Miranda Kerr, that was dating for a little bit, clearly just after the money. Because what is she there for? The looks? Uh... Pro probably was true, probably was true. Somebody said, man, he was the real Wolf of Wall Street, stealing all the money to fund that movie, Wolf of Wall Street. My goodness. Yeah, man. I mean, in that movie... You know, they're kind of, uh, right? The whole movie's about... Uh, pumping up stocks. Yeah, pumping up stocks and taking money from, like, the middle-class people and rich people. And then, yeah, they took money from the Malaysian government. The one MDB found fund was supposed to boost Malaysia's economy. Well, it's supposed to alleviate poverty. So think about it. That's like, if you just imagine the stimulus checks that we got during COVID, except someone stole those checks and then use them to pay for celebrity parties. Somebody said, man, this is such Hollywood hypocrisy. All these people are always talking about saving the world. And here they are taking all these gifts bought with fraudulent money from J-Ho, yeah. flying around the world, creating all this carbon emissions on J-Ho's <laughs> private jets. 
No, to be honest, man, listen, when you're uh, like a celebrity, like, you know, you to party with a bunch of people and you don't even know what they do. You just know that they're fun, rich yeah. people, right? That's, that's what it is. They think the money's coming from Dubai. They think the money's coming from Malaysia. They don't even know where Malaysia is. They Bro. Just, uh... And also another layer is that the director of the FBI is a Republican, right? And a lot of Hollywood celebrities are Democrats. So you're saying there's a possible a, angle here. It's nearby election time. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Somebody said, if I were to steal an entire government fund, I shouldn't, sure wouldn't spend it on people who didn't care about me. But somebody else said, oh, I don't know, dude. If I had all the money that he would stole, I probably would have did the exact same thing. It looked like he had a lit, fun time. Dude, when you talk about going out in a blaze of glory, man, this is exactly what he's doing. Now he's going to be on the run for the rest of his life, life unless he gets caught. Uh, but, most likely he'll get caught. That's my prediction. Yeah. Uh, but, man, he lived life. And, he, no, maybe not everybody respected him. Maybe not everybody knew what he did. Maybe not everybody cared about him. Not every, not every woman was attracted to him, but... Yeah, he, he was spent in that there. money. He spent that money, man. Somebody said, uh, man, it's only easy to have this much fun when you're playing with stolen money. There's no way anybody who worked hard or families worked hard for that money would ever spend it this way. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Somebody said, man, there are so many poor Malaysians living below the poverty line. Do you know how many lives he could have changed with just $100,000 bottle that he bought for Lindsay Lohan on her 23rd uh, birthday? Like I said, man, it didn't just impact Malaysia by taking that $5 billion away. It actually ruined Malaysia's chances in the future of getting potential investment from other people who are now looking at it being like, well, you guys got a corrupt government over there, so I don't know where my money's going to go if I give it to you guys I don't trust it, you know? Yeah. So that, that's what's really bad. So we got to get into the takeaways real quick to just to touch on that politician angle. It's so important who you elect in your government, right? Because the government takes not only foreign investment, but also taxpayer money and whatever money that's developed from the people, and they're supposed to deploy it. But if you get corrupt people to deploy it, they can just steal it, right? Yeah, and that's why corruption begets more corruption. So that's why a lot of countries, when they do find out someone is being corrupt, they come down very hard on them. Yeah. On more of a personal angle, Andrew, this kind of made me sad a little bit or not sad, but it kind of reminded me of a story from high school. There's this guy I know and I'll hide his identity by changing his name. His name is Michael Finn. Okay. And his parents own a bunch of fuzz shops, but he really wasn't in the AZN, you know, street world or anything close to that. He wasn't about that. He was more like always trying to appeal to the uh, section of like preppy white kids. Mm -hmm. So he used to pay junior and senior year of high school. He used to come out of his own pocket and sign all the liability forms to rent out these houses on the lake to throw like these parties to be cool. And sometimes he didn't even get the girl he wanted, but he was just trying to rise up the ladder as like also a big faced round Asian guy with low leverage trying to be cool at like Hollywood high school or yeah. in my case, like and, hometown high school. And did it even feel like that that group truly respected him? Maybe they liked having him around. They enjoyed his All time, right. but did they respect him? I would say they liked having him around because he's super helpful. You always have somebody to pick you up from the airport, run errands for you. Um, I would say it's 50, 50 or, or like 30% out of 10 people probably ended up appreciating him and seeing through his like low visual value. And then seven out of 10 were more like on the using side. Well, it's not just visual value, right? It's maybe like personality wise. Yeah, he wasn't well, like the coolest him, they're like, person. Oh, this is like a great person. But listen, a lot of people don't understand if you're just only great to other people, Andrew, here's this picture of Jay Holo pushing Buster Rhymes around in a rickshaw. Uh, if you just do that for people, who's going to like hate you? Yeah, if because you, you're playing like uh, like the, the the Alfred to Batman role. If you only serve people, why would they be mean to you? Right. Why wouldn't no, they? They, let they you? would have no reason to be mean to you. That would have to be like a ten out of ten horrible person to be mean to somebody who's like dedicating their life to making their life fun. I mean, the truth is, in this elite world, man, there's a lot of J hoes of friend groups. Maybe not people who like steal a bunch of money from somewhere else. From that, a sovereign take fund, that yeah. aside. I'm just saying his position of being like, hey, like invite me over, man. I'll bring uh, over all the gifts, uh, or I give you kisser. Yeah, I give you the best birthday gifts, or oh, I just pick up the extra meals for you, so it's easier for you to hang out with me and you like me more you know and the the pro that's that's the thing man and it just reminds 
a lot of Asian guys like, damn, is this the only way that a big chubby Asian guy is going to hang out with these and, types of people? And oftentimes, man, I feel like a lot of Asian guys, when they want to enter like the Western world elite circles, they all oftentimes have to finance their way in. I would say maybe if you're a pretty Asian girl, there would be other ways in. Maybe you could just uh, hang out your way in or date your way in. Yeah. But for like Asian dudes, especially if you look like J-Ho, you got to buy your way in. Yeah, yeah. No, and that's I why the FBI, I support them. Take them paintings back, man. Take them Picassos and Basquiat, send them back to Malaysia, man. Auction them off. Yeah, no, by all means, guys, this is not a win for Asian guys. Nah, I mean, this guy is a bad guy. He did <laughs> bad stuff. Um, but he did party his butt off, and uh, I guess, like... I guess every system has this, yeah. you know, but, like, uh, to a 2 out of 10 or 3 out of 10 level, obviously, J-Ho's example was, like, a 12 out of 10, like, world record-breaking things i mean this is one of the biggest financial frauds of all time you know so. i noticed chinese malaysians in the media a lot lately michelle oh Yo, yeah that's a good point jay holo michelle yo nigel wing even ronnie, ronnie. To ronnie. <laughs> these are all much better people than jay ho by the way right but, but yes but i'm still, saying they active chinese Globally, malaysians they active. there's something about chinese people from malaysia man they are they are getting out there so hey guys i want you guys to let us know in the comment section below have you heard about this story what do you think about what he did was it just human maybe he was just acting like a 15 year old or 13 year old who wanted to be cool in high school because he remembered his growing up in britain high school or whatever or was this just like it just is what it is man all right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. You are watching the Hot Pop Boys, everything from fr serious to frivolous. We're talking about it all. Thank you so much, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.